Hello. I will show you the project that I have been working on intensively. For the last one and a half weeks, I could continue my game, which is currently available in the Play Store. But I wanted to start a new project from scratch because I had mistakes in the first game. And since that game is my first game making experience, I find them normal. I aim to make this game better by learning from my mistakes in that game. For example, only steering control adjustment is not enough. I added a button next to it and it's there in this project. It was a little tiring, but it was worth it. I designed myself a new speedometer. I made it myself from scratch. The objects in the game will be both better and more optimized compared to the previous game. At least I hope so. It's good if there are models I design, but I can't design every model myself. But I also make arrangements and make them suitable for the game, even the models I buy ready-made. For example, I like the pine tree model in the previous game. But although it is good in appearance, not physically, the vehicle passes through it. To prevent this, my project will have physical trees. Now the settings can be accessed in more detail. In the graphics settings, there are light settings, resolution settings, and render settings. The render setting here is not the render setting in the camera settings, but the objects appearing directly at a certain distance. This was also in my other game, but it only stood at a certain value. In this game, you will be able to set it the way you want. On the other hand, the light adjustment will not only turn the shadow off and on, but also the resolution and distance of the shadow will be adjustable. The resolution setting will set the screen resolution as standard. The sound settings have been more detailed, and you can adjust the car sound, the surround sound, and the value of the music sound as you want. Language settings are better compared to the old game, and Portuguese language has been added. I designed a new Wii. You can choose the steering wheel or button control as you want from the control settings. I tweak the vehicle physics, and now you can drift with the car, but of course, it won't be as intense as in dedicated drift games, since this is not a drift-focused game. For example, the current vehicle is rear-wheel drive. I worked on preventing the car from rolling over during sharp turns, and I succeeded. I worked on it, so that the beekeeper could achieve a more realistic driving feeling. I was randomly messing around with the previous game. In this game, I decided to go over the game dynamics first. When the game dynamics reach the level I want, there will be a driving test beta. Nothing much. I want to do a couple more systems. I'll move on to the map design later. But I made the map you see in the controls section. And I'm thinking of making a map like that. And finally, the colors of the vehicles in the game will be adjustable. I'm going but video continues. Thank you for watching this far. See you later. What's up? Pour that shit in my cup. We about to turn up. Crank this shit up so loud. Sounds like we're sold out. It brought up a whole crowd. We should have control now. Take this shit too personally. Everybody got a different version of me.